You might be used to seeing dancers from the American Ballet Theater in more glamorous surroundings, but away from the spotlights of center stage, these young dancers are used to putting in a lot of sweat time. This hour and a half class of ballet calisthenics is part of a long day of rehearsals before showtime. Beginning tonight through Saturday at the Theater Performing Arts on Miami Beach, the Concert Association of Miami presents the 50th anniversary tour of the American Ballet Theater. <laughs> and even the dancers took time to celebrate their company's birthday by enjoying some much-earned calories. It's just a great honor to be able to dance with this company, and it's a thrill each time I go out on stage. The company was always based on talent. There were always the best dancers, the best choreographers. It's also been the most open-minded. Whatever has uh, been the best in dance has been embraced by ballet theater. Recently, the American Ballet Theater has been through some changes. Longtime artistic director Mikhail Baryshnikov stepped down. Many people wondered what would happen to the company. The new executive director says not to worry. She's keeping the company right on its toes. While initially it can be a little discombobulating to people who are used to doing things one way. On the other hand, it opens up so many opportunities for people to do things other ways that I'm very optimistic about it. And even though behind the scenes the company is going through these changes, it doesn't show out on the floor. The American Ballet Theater is out to prove they'll remain as much a part of the American culture as good old apple pie. On Miami Beach, Lisa Petrillo, Channel 10, Eyewitness News.